Hello, and welcome back to the New Frontiers Lecture Series. Today, we are working with Dr. Edmund Meinfelder, a noted expert in the field of organic chemistry. With his help, we will conduct a series of experiments which will prove that yogurt is telepathic. First, we need a yogurt. Any yogurt will do. We used a common, unremarkable, ordinary, garden variety, everyday, generic household yogurt, such as one you might find at the corner grocery. As most of you are aware, yogurt is a collective animal made up of single-celled bacteria. Today, we will show that these bacteria are in a constant state of telepathic communication, forming a single consciousness called a hive mind. This consciousness remains continuous even when the yogurt is subdivided and the halves separated by a physical barrier. We start by separating the yogurt into two bowls. The first half of the yogurt will be our test subject, the half we interact with in our series of experiments. The second half will be sequestered into a sensory deprivation chamber and monitored for activity using these high-sensitivity yogurt probes. After closing the chamber, we are ready to begin our experiments. In our first experiment, we will feed the exposed half of the yogurt and watch for a response from the other half. Here, we have the yogurt's natural prey, a common household mouse. The hungry yogurt quickly devours the mouse. And the electrovoltometer shows a strong, wildly fluctuating response as the sequestered yogurt senses the meal. Next, we will test the yogurt's emotional response. This is Dr. Wurgis, a renowned bacterial psychologist. First, Dr. Wurgis talks soothingly to the yogurt in low, round tones, promoting a sense of well-being in our yogurt test subject. Note the positive response on the meter, as the sequestered yogurt shares in the warm glow of positive emotion bestowed on its exposed half. This is a happy, fun yogurt. Next, Dr. Meinfelder will test the negative emotional response of the yogurt, using hurtful insults, a loud, accusative tone, and a smattering of physical violence. Once again, the two halves of the yogurt react in unison, as the meter shows a strong negative response. You are a very bad yogurt. In experiment 3, Dr. Wurgis will test the yogurt's reaction to violent electrical stimulus, also known as shock therapy. This results in a pronounced response from the isolated yogurt as it reacts to the painful electrical current. But this experiment results in an unfortunate side effect, as the enraged yogurt rears up and attempts to eat Dr. Wurgis's hand. The deadly yogurt quickly overcomes Dr. Wurgis and consumes her. You should not taunt happy, fun yogurt. Dr. Meinfelder discovers the startling aftermath. He is horrified. Yet, he is overcome with curiosity. He examines the sequestered yogurt. He too quickly dies. 